Number two, can you guess? If you can guess, please type it down in the comment section right now that I can guess what number two is. <laughs> oh my God, number two. How can you go on a seductive, romantic date without having... guys hey how y'all doing this is your wing lady and you're welcome to another late video <laughs> guys i missed you so much like so much it's been like how many days since i uploaded last i think five or seven days like a whole week without talking to you guys ah oh, it's been so tough on me but it wasn't by choice i was kind of like a little bit under the weather I caught the flu and my voice was just so raspy and I couldn't come online here and, you know, talk in a raspy voice to you guys. I mean, it's going to be like, ah, hello, you guys. <laughs> I couldn't do that, but I missed you so much. But thank God I'm better now. You can never know that I caught the flu, right? Because I'm looking good now. <laughs> so guys, today, woo, I'm back with another lit video. Today, we're going to be talking about seven, okay, at least seven of my most seductive, most romantic perfumes that you can wear for date night or if it's not a, a, a night kind of date, let's say date date. <laughs> These are perfumes that you can wear whenever you're going like a romantic dinner, a romantic evening, a romantic date with your partner, you know, when you want to feel like a baby girl and smell delicious and yummy and seductive. These are the kind of perfumes you should wear. Now, number seven on my list, okay? Uh, is a mixture. The list is a mixture of um, affordable perfumes and some that are a little bit pricey. So it's just like a mixture. You can choose whichever one you want. Like any one out of the seven is good for date night. Number seven, I have La Nuit Rose. <laughs> this is a deal for Lancome's La Nuit Tresor. And boy, oh boy, this is so good. This is like smoky rose this is smoky rose fragrance mm. it is so good it is it is rich it is deep it is smoky it is rosy it is dark in a seductive kind of way on nights that are so you know that are so cold and you want to spend a romantic dinner outside you know with your partner just spray this on on your neck and he's not going to be able to stop sniffing you this is how good <sighs> so good it is syrupy drippy gourmandy sweet smoky dark and rich man this is for classy girls this is for classy girls this is lanry rose by fragrance world this one is by fragrance rose and it's pretty affordable depending on where you buy it so that was number seven now moving on to number six oud mood like oud mood so if you're someone that don't really like um oudy perfumes like you're just kind of getting introduced into the oud scene get oud mood my sister get oud mood oud mood is sweet it is incensey it is woody it is rosy now it is such a nice blend of all these components that when you spray it you come out feeling and looking sexy and rich and seductive out of all the um woody perfumes arabian perfumes that i have if i were to recommend a perfume that you can use on date night it will be this this and another one called Shaker Shuyuk Lux Edition. That's a much sweeter version, but it's still not as rich as this, in my own opinion. So, if you wear oud mood, oh, it dropped the cover, <laughs> but it's not breakable, so it's okay. <laughs> Clumsy. So, if you wear oud mood on a romantic night, mm, okay, your date is not gonna be able to stop sniffing you. Ah, man. This just speaks glass. <sighs> yeah. Incensey, sweet, woody, rosy. Such a perfect blend. A rich blend. A seductive blend. Don't miss out on Oud Mood. This is so nice. Like, this is really, really good. 
and it is so seductive and dark and deep. I like scents that are that have substance that are rich. Wood wood is one of them. You won't regret buying this. You can pick it up. This is by um, the House of Latafa, and is also very affordable. Okay, moving on, we have Violet Sapphire. Hi. This is a dupe of uh, Bodesia the Victorious Abizi Bodesia. <laughs> Bodesia the Victorious Violet Sapphire. Now I haven't smelled Bodesia before, but I learned that it's a very 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 nice niche not affordable kind of fragrance but it is so good but this however is from fragrance world this is violet sapphire and this one is quite affordable god this is juicy this is lemony this is citrusy sweet absolutely sweet absolutely gourmandy but not in a light kind of way it's peachy it smells like fruit juice it smells like it smells like rich fruit juice it's so sweet at the top it has something like cherry but it is so drippy and yummy and sweet and at the same time mysterious like have you ever come across a scent now, I feel like, oh, it's just like a normal fruity scent. But then at the end of the day, when you smell it, like when you're really, really into it, you find out that it is nothing like what you have in your collection. This is one of those scents. This is Violet Sapphire by Fragrance World. And oh my God, this perfume is underrated. Like if you don't have Violet Sapphire, I suggest you go out right now and buy it, sis. Because this is so good. If you're on a date and you wear this, you're going to be unforgettable. <laughs> unforgettable in a good way. Like, it's like a fruit juice. Do you know this fruit juice called Happy Hour? It is so fruity. It is citrusy. It's like a mixed fruit kind of thing. Like a mixed fruit juice. So syrupy, drip, sweet. And so seductive. Like, if this is not for date night, I don't know what is. That is so good. Now, moving on to number... Is this number five? Okay, this was number seven. That was number six. This was number five. This is number four. Ah, this is Hypnotic Poison. Okay. Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Mm. From the name of the perfume, you should know that this is not for the faint-hearted. Okay? It is like... It's a more exp expensive brand, of course. It is Dior. It's expensive, but Dior... It is worth it. Hypnotic poison. Like, your date is going to be hypnotized. Simple. There's nothing else to say. He's going to be hypnotized. Hmm. Period. P period. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't even need much of a hypnotic poison. This one is indescribable. Indescribable. Okay, it is somehow powdery. It is sweet, but not too sweet. It is not as sweet as the ones I've been talking about. But the sweetness is definitely there. It is sort of like powdery. Then you have something like some naughty feel inside here. Something naughty, yeah. It is cool. Out of all the perfumes, this one doesn't like shout, but it stays on you. You can't wear hypnotic poison and have to respray it on every two two hours. No. Once you go three sprays on your body, it is enchanting. It is addicting. It is hypnotizing. Like, seriously. When they named this hypnotic poison, they knew what they were doing. This is so good. This is so seductive. Like, when you sniff it, you want more. You want more. It is so attractive that if you hug someone... If you hug someone's son and you are wearing this perfume, he's going to want to hug you again. He's going to want to hug you again. It is that powerful. It is enchanting. Like, if you don't have hypnotic poison, I don't know what you're doing. If you're only buying one perfume from Dior, buy hypnotic poison. Because what the fuck? YouTube, I'm sorry. <laughs> Love it. Oh, yeah. Then we are down to the top three, yeah? Top three. 
And you know when I talk about perfumes for date night or say doctor's perfumes, you know definitely Berry's Weekend. Berry's Weekend definitely has to make that list because what is a seductive perfume if it is not Berry's Weekend by Fragrance World? What is a sweet, addicting perfume if it is not Berry's Weekend by Fragrance World? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Berry's Weekend, I've already sprayed. I spray this almost like every day and I've really gone through it. You see that? Berry's Weekend, it's sweet. It is yummy, it is drippy, it is seductive, it is fruity. Did I mention sweet? Give you cavities, kind of sweet. This is such a gourmandy scent. It smells like you've been bathed in fruits, in fruit juices. Not like um, the one I was talking about before, not like violet sapphire. This is different in that it smells like sugar, sugary sweet. Sugary sweet and so fruity, so seductive. It, uh, when you spray this on, you want to eat yourself. And imagine spraying this on and going on a romantic dinner date outside. Your date is going to want to eat you. I ain't even joking. Berries weekend. It's indescribable. If you want to know like the full in-depth perfume, uh, in-depth review of this perfume, I'm going to leave the link down in my description box. Just go and watch that video because... It is addicting. I cannot do without this perfume. This one will always be in my collection. Always. Mm. Moving on to number two. Mm. Number two. Can you guess? If you can guess, please type it down in the comment section right now that I can guess what number two is. <laughs> oh my God, number two. How can you go on a seductive, romantic date without having scandal by night? Oh my this one by John Paul Gaultier is like the king of honey scent. Not king, queen of honey scents. If you want to smell like yummy, drippy, edible honey, spray this on, sister. Spray this on. Your date is going to want to lick that honey off of you. I ain't even joking. I ain't playing here. This is scandal by night. You see, you see that? Like, you, you see that? Good. Now, as for the smell. Okay, let me spray this just on my hand here. Cherry, honey, something like banana smells in here. It smells like banana. But it is so addicting. It's kind of boozy. It's a syrupy sweet too, definitely. It has a lot of cherry in here, definitely sweet cherry. Then you have honey. That note of honey is like the king of all notes in here. I think I'm going to make an in-depth review. Like, if you guys want, just comment below that you want a review of Scandal by Night. Then you have something that smells like banana. So it is kind of fruity and sweet and gummandy, but in a boozy kind of way. It is not light and fruity, just like fruity sweet. Like, Berries Weekend is light. It's not boozy. This one is a deep, fruity, sweet scent. Boozy, fruity, sweet scent. It is rich. Like, look at the color. This is not to be played with. This is not to be played with. Look at the topper. Like, don't play with me. When you wear this perfume, you're not playing with your dates. You're going for serious business. Auntie, scandal by night is the way to go. There's nothing else I can say about it. Mm. Number one. <laughs> I think everyone knows what number one is. I think everyone knows what number one is. This one is just like the kings. I'll call it kings. Kings of perfume. Everybody all over the world know Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Cordy John. If you don't know, if you don't know Baccarat Rouge 540 by MFK, are you even a perfume lover? Are you a freak head? Baccarat Rouge 540 has this cotton candy vibes. It is sweet. It is seductive. It is light. But most of all, it is addicting in that once you smell this, you always want to keep smelling it. Like you never want to let go. Like, once you smell Baccarat. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Baccarat. God, what is in this thing? 
every time you spray the original baccarat with 540 you get it you get it it is sweet it is warm it is light it is something i definitely want to wear on a romantic day if you wear baccarat i think you're gonna get maybe like a kiss on your first day yeah because it makes you want to hug people and just get some more of that goodness just let me hug you and get some more get some more it is sweet it has this cotton candy vibes. It just has something in there that attracts you. Like, it's one of the most attractive perfumes I've ever sprayed on my body. Like, it just draws you in like a magnet. You know, Valentine is coming. And I actually made this video because Valentine is coming. My sisters, if you want to go on Valentine's date and you want someone's son to be all over you, Choose any of these perfumes that I've just given you and then come and give me feedback and tell me how the date went because, man, these are dope. These are dope. These are perfect perfumes for date nights. And not just date nights. You can wear them during the day too, depending on how sexy you want to be smelling. They're so romantic and so seductive. <laughs> I'm rambling, aren't I? I'm sorry. So if you like this video, just click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, and then comment down below what you think. If you think there are some perfumes that I've actually missed out of this list, please comment down below so that I can actually go right out and get them. <laughs> so guys, take care of yourself. I love you so much. Thank you for your support. Please keep liking, keep subscribing, keep sharing, and until next time, ciao!